A British General 6 amp circuit breaker a dead British General 6 amp circuit breaker had apparently tripped and would not reset and this was sent in by Thomas Nagy who has a channel uh, on YouTube which I'll provide a link to in the description down below and it basically follows him about as he does electrical work in London it's a very interesting channel so I'm going to pause the video momentarily while I drill out these rivets and while I'm drilling them out I'm also going to eat some candy that Thomas sent uh, this one came from Colombia and it's a copilia, which is a toffee coconut type thing And this one came from Norway and it's Troika, a chocolate type bar I believe So I'll be back in a moment and I'll give you a review of these, tell you what they tasted like and we'll take a look inside this breaker The candy is eaten, the rivets are out, the candy, the coconut one, was like a uh, is it dolce leche or something like that? I couldn't even tell you how that's pronounced. It's like the condensed milk type flavour with the coconut. Very nice. Uh, but the winner there was the Norwegian one, which uh, had a sort of, it had layers of chocolate and truffle and jelly inside. It was very, very nice. So let's see if I can open this up now. I have taken the rivets out. Is this going to come apart easily or is it going to be irksome? I shall get my long nose pliers here. Let's uh, zoom back out a little tiny bit here. I shall get the long nose pliers and I'll just pop it in here and I'll just prise it open a little bit. There, that's looking good. That's looking good. Let's see if we can open this and keep the fault intact. So what do we have in here? Why has this not latched? Let's zoom back down in this and look at it closer. That little catch, that little thing there is not popping down. It's supposed to catch under that. And why is it not popping down? Has that broken off? I think something may have broken off there. Is there any bit of plastic rattling around loose inside? Uh, not that bit. Um, so what have we got in here? We've got the magnetic coil here. This is designed to trip the breaker instantly under the vent of a serious overload. And what happens when uh, that trips is this little plunger here uh, will kick up and it will trip this mechanism, it will trip this little catch, which is supposed to be latching back, but isn't. Why is that? It really does look like something, a little bit of plastic has snapped off or something. I could be wrong. Um, the other trip mechanism here is this bimetallic strip here. The entire current flowing through unit travels through this bimetallic strip and in the event of a low level sort of simmering fault, say this is rated 6 amps, and in the event of maybe an overload of say 8 or 9 amps, this is gradually going to heat up until it goes down and it trips that mechanism and makes it trip. So there's two mechanisms there. There's the thermal one for the slow simmering faults, but in the event of a serious short circuit, that pin will fly off in the solenoid and will trip it instantly. Um, I'm trying to work out what is actually... It does look like there's something missing, but I don't see... Yeah, this, this little plastic bit here should be held back, but it's not. It's not being latched back. Could it be that pin has popped up and not popped down? No, nothing really obvious. I think it does look like a piece of plastic has popped off in here. It, if the this little pole here is supposed to be held by that mechanism there, which it kind of is at times. And when that happens, it allows the contact to push down properly until it makes contact. So I'm not 100% sure what's happened here. Let's uh, whip this out and take a look. The top of that looks intact. It looks like it's got its little ratchet mechanism. That looks like a little tooth that's supposed to latch onto it there. Um, now I'm trying to remember which way that came out. Oops. Pretty sure that's supposed to latch. Yeah, one moment please. I'm just going to try and decipher this and see how it's supposed to work. 
I have concluded my investigation and I've found out what went wrong. The fault that occurred to cause this uh, failure was a dead short circuit. Now I'm guessing this is a 6 amp circuit breaker, so I'm guessing it was a lighting circuit. And maybe an LED lamp popped or something like that. But um, there's a wee skid mark on this uh, plate here. And you can also see, rather interestingly, the path that Arc has taken up this uh, plate into this of quencher. So here's the stack of metal plates that are designed to quench the arc. And uh, the contact here has a path up here that guides the arc into the quencher plate. And you can see the skid mark of where the arc has run up that. And you can see a slight skid mark there where it's dragged it into the plate and then the plates have basically cooled it and separated it because they're all insulated from each other and it's quenched the arc. It's done its job. It didn't reset because the device that triggered it under that fault condition was the solenoid. And the super observant of you will now notice that uh, this pin was actually sticking up before. It was jammed up and that's why it wouldn't reset. It was basically pushing that catch in a manner that basically said that, you know, the fault's still there and that's why it wouldn't allow it to be reset. But when I took this apart, it actually kind of fell apart. Uh, it's got this little plunger pin with this spring. I think these are in the correct order because it really did fall into lots of bits. And there was dust. It was basically, I've just, I've just actually pinged it right across the room. Oh well, its job was done. But uh, it uh, had a little bit of dust and I think that's what uh, had caused it because it had gone up and then the dust had caused it to actually stay stuck. So the only way it would go back down was if you pushed it. So I don't know if the dust uh, has crept in maybe on site. Uh, they've been plastering in the vicinity and some plaster dust has come down onto it and into it. But uh, it makes you realise that things like that, other things, if a bug somehow got into the circuit breaker, and uh, you could, it could gum up the little plunger and then that would release that, would stop that function working. Very interesting. Uh, I've never seen that before. It's quite interesting that it can happen in the first place. It also gives us a good look inside the circuit breaker, including with this bimetallic strip. Uh, yeah, very interesting. So thanks to Thomas for sending that in. It, it was uh, quite good to take apart.